Okay, so we're gonna cover how to get the materials onto this and do all our instancing nice and correct. So you can see here that uh, yeah, two of our flowers are, a couple of our flowers are yellow. So what I'm going to do is go into the master shape here and have a look at these. So you can see that uh, some of the some of the flowers have in brackets MTL. That means that they've inherited their material uh, from their node, and these two at the top haven't, which is why we're getting this default tie flow yellow color. So pull them back down to material instance, hitting inherit from reference. That's going to pull those materials. Uh, into those uh, yellow flowers here. So if I go back to the IPR and just uh, hit the refresh, uh, that's going to actually refresh those materials. You can see that they populate on correctly and uh, all as well, right? So we've got all our rotations working, we've got our scaling working, we've got our materials working, we've got our instances working. Um, and uh, now we're just going to get on to playing this through and uh, see if this works right. So we're going to play this through now and see what happens. So if we go back to the start, we just run it through. We can see that the particles are being birthed across the surface and everything is working great. Uh, the one thing that's not really working great right now is the rotation list on the parent of the camera on the null. So I think maybe we can go back and, and kind of do this again. Um, first of all, I think, uh, the camera movement works great, but the rotation, uh, that feeling of a handheld isn't really working. So let's go and add a uh, rotation list to our camera. And uh, we'll go to the available channel and we'll add a rotation noise on that. Let's just delete that, uh, delete what's on the current rotation list. Oh, that's after resetting our camera. Okay, so let's just, um, Let's delete this guy and we'll start a new one exactly in that position. So if we delete it here, um, we should get a uh, back to our perspective view. We can go cameras, create a camera. So we'll create one back uh, where that was, set it back to a free camera. And this time we'll add the rotational um, noise on the camera itself rather than the dummy. So parenting it back to the dummy there. You can see it works all right. So let's go up here. Let's go to this noise. Actually, let's go to rotation uh, on this, on this cube, first of all, on this, on this null, and we'll delete that. So it doesn't make any, it doesn't make that noise anymore. We'll add a rotation list. Um, we'll add uh, a noise to that rotational list available channel. You can see it's going crazy here. So we just bring our strength down. We're going to bring our frequency right down. Yeah, just something like that. And that works pretty well. Okay, so that feels a lot more smooth. And now that we have our particles growing, we've got our camera moving. Um, let's see. Perhaps we may want to just change the rotation of that box. So as I said earlier, this is all procedural. So our direct this or changing the direction of how this grows at any point is really, really simple. All you have to do is rotate that, uh, that original box around. That's, that's the cause of this um, transformation. So if we grow it over the surface in, in this axis, yeah, we're seeing more of a, more of a spread there, which is nice. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna take the camera lens back to a 45 here, just to come a tiny bit wider on it so we can see uh, a little more action in that log, which is feeling pretty cool. Now I wanna go up here back to my tie flow and set it to like 20,000 particles. So that's a hundred times more than, than what we currently had here. So this will take just a sec to simulate and boom, we've got a beautiful growth simulation happening right along our branch. So if we wanna just preview that in Redshift, we should see a really nice dense growth. And there you have it. So this should be easy enough to just, uh, you know, render out and um, you've got yourself a, a beautiful little test. What is handy with the 3D Max camera is that at any point you can, you can move it around even if it has animation on it and it's not gonna snap back to that original position but it will keep that original, that original animation. So if we wanna come a bit wider, for instance, all we have to do is just pull it back uh, and we can use the click focus in the Redshift render view to fix it.